everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing this beaten up post battle Blossom Powerpuff Girl makeup tutorial. Me and my best friend are going as Blossom and Bubbles for Halloween on Saturday. It was her suggestion to do Powerpuff Girls and I can't wait. I'm so excited. I love how this has turned out. The heart eye wasn't my idea. I did get inspiration from Cosmo by Hayley. I will link her video in the description down below. Okay, wow, looks like a different person. We are using this liquid latex on our eyebrow. Don't do this step because, oh my goodness, you might as well put a wax strip on there. So now I am doing the heart around my eye. I've done a practice run as you can see and I am mapping out the heart with my trusty white pencil. I've also put my hair up in this like French braids. They're actually super cute and I think I'm gonna wear them again but I've got my hair as flat as possible for the wig. So anyway I recommend taking a picture when you are doing this just so you can see if the heart is even because I couldn't see when I was in the mirror. I thought it was really off but actually looking at it. it looks pretty decent so we're just going to build this up slowly you're putting the liquid latex on first I'm putting it on with a brush and then I am layering it up with basically bog roll um, so you're just building up the tissue paper that you have already made into little strips and then you are layering the liquid latex back on top yeah guys this is actually really strong I'm not so confident about putting it near my eyes again on Saturday but we're gonna do it um, it's just really, really strong. You're gonna have another whiff there because we can't believe it. But yeah, it did make my eyes go a little bit, ugh. But anyway, yeah, this reminds me of Art Attack with the PVA glue and building it up with the tissue paper, if anyone remembers that vibe. Um, it just, it's the same thing. You're doing that. So I'm doing a couple of layers, just showing you one or two here. And then I'm going to skip forwards to when I've done a few more, but you just wanna, I'd say like two layers would be enough, maybe three, just to make it nice and secure. And just, yeah, just go until you've got the desired shape. What's good about this is it is wet, so you can kind of mold it around a bit. And then I took a little bit of the liquid latex on its own around it, just so it was nice and secure. But please don't get it in your hairline because, oh my goodness, you might as well, again, I've put a wax strip on there, so be careful. So now we're doing this eye. This eye is the only part of the makeup that's kind of put together. So in the battle, this is the eye that survived. So I'm just doing a basic pink smoky eye, but everything has to be pink for me because I am Blossom and she is all pink. So you can see what I'm doing. It's a standard smoky eye, building up the colors, starting off lighter, building up darker in the outer corner. And once we have done that, build it up nice and dark. I'm taking a little bit of concealer on a brush and I'm gonna put that in the inner corner, um, like the inner part of my eye, pad it or dab it with my finger just so it blends into that darker color. And then just kind of, yeah, tap over it with the darker color again, just to make sure that it all blends nicely blending and then putting this nice pink on the lid there. And then I'm going to just deepen up the outer corner even more and blending it all out, la 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 la. Topping up, touching up, blending air, you know my drill. Then I'm tight lining top and bottom waterline and just clearing up any fallout with my face halo. And then I'm moving on to the face. So I'm gonna prime the face. And then after I've done that, I'm gonna do mix these two Maybelline Superstay foundations to get my perfect shade. And then once I've done that, just blending it all into the skin. Okay, and then we're going to be taking this on the heart. So you want to completely cover the heart so that there's no white showing at all. You want it to look the same color as your skin, pretty much. And it looks a bit darker at the moment, but we're gonna go over it with concealer in a moment. Lovely. So now, now there's that moment. So we're going over with concealer and any other areas that you want to cover. And you're just gonna basically, uh, I don't know, go for it and cover that up. Just like I say, make sure there is no white tissue showing. Just set it all into place. And then we're gonna start on the contour. So I'm going pretty dark on the contour here, quite bold because we wanna look a bit beaten up really. So your girl's been in a battle and she's won and so's Bubbles, but we've decided unfortunately Buttercup hasn't won because there's only two of us going out, not three. So unfortunately she didn't make it RIP, but I'm going to just put a little bit of the contour on my nose because it'll look a bit grazed, a little bit under the eye. Then we're going for that, what, that, what, no, that, that, what, make your mind up. That one, good, that color. And then we're going to put that in the, basically, where we've contoured before. 
and we're just gonna go over it all to make sure it is nice and dark. We wanna go for more of like a brown tan contour rather than any kind of pinky tones or anything like that. Right, we're gonna whack an eyebrow on. I did put liquid latex over it to just make my eyebrow a little bit higher and then I did highlight the brow bone, but don't put liquid latex on your eyebrow, it's just not worth it. Just don't do it. <laughs> so I am then deepening up the contour even more just to make it nice and dark. But to be honest with you, you don't need to be precise with this because you just come out of a battle. Like I say, it doesn't matter. So I'm adding a bruise on my forehead now and this looks really good. But unfortunately, my wig covered it. I didn't think about that. So if you want to do this, do. Um, but I probably won't be doing it on Saturday just because it's gonna be covered up anyway but we're just gonna keep on deepening up that contour and gonna add a little bit of red um, even though I said we're gonna keep it browns but I'm adding a little bit of red to the bruise and stuff just because then it's gonna look a little bit more realistic and then put a little bit under the eye as well now moving under the eyes just every single color that we used on the top I'm mimicking it on the bottom as per so starting off lighter and then building it up darker and then I believe we're going into uh what's it gonna be it's gonna be a black <laughs> and I'm gonna put that in the outer corners just to really deepen that up and then blend it all out Then I'm adding, a, not exactly adding a wing, but I'm just adding a bit of liquid liner because I'm gonna put false lashes on and I want something for the basically the lash band to blend into. But when it comes to the outer corner, instead of putting an actual wing, I'm just blending it into the black. Now's the time to add the mascara and the false lash. And in that time, everything kind of went a bit skew if because I hit my face with the big palette, the corner, the corner of the big palette, right, right there. So, uh, that kind of changed things. Anyway, we're now going to cover the heart. So you wanna, again, completely cover this so there isn't any skin color showing. So I'm going in with a red to start with, really kind of just like I'm pressing the product on as well. And then I'm going into this Makeup Revolution Special Effects palette and doing the same thing with the red. And like I say, I'm kind of just, yeah, dabbing it on. And the fact that you're dabbing it, I was doing that with the bruise. When you're dabbing it, it kind of makes it a bit more like blood effect anyway because if you're going to do it like you're painting if you're in a battle and if you're doing that you're not going to have smooth lines it's going to be kind of splattered now i'm taking this brown and using the edge of a sponge i'm going like around the inner part of the heart where we're going to cut out but just to start to deepen up that color a little bit going all around and then i'm taking just a few more colors i wanted it to be it's quite like rosy bright red and I wanted it to look darker red. I didn't really know how to achieve that so I just kind of kept going in with different colours. A few pinky tones and then a few like orangey tones and then a few browny tones just to try and you know kind of change that colour up, get it nice and dark. Then with this purple I just took that around the edges to make it look a bit bruised and then around the same bits that we went around with that brown paint. Then going around the edge just to soften it all off and make it well, just to kind of make it a little less big, I took some foundation and got it in control a little bit. And then obviously went back over it again with the brown, 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 good. Nice, have a little jiggle. Um, just deepening it up. Now we're going to some fake blood, but before we do that, before we do that, I'm gonna just do any last contouring I want to before I potentially ruin this brush. So I'm taking the fake blood. This and the liquid latex are both from Makeup Revolution. I'm just putting them on the back of my hand and it looks super gross. And oh, goodbye brush. <laughs> this is basically, because it's a stippling brush, you're gonna get that nice like splattered effect or you could use it with I guess like a, any, a kind of sponge or something as long as it's like a kitchen sponge not a makeup sponge but uh, you just need something that's gonna give this effect but my brush is gonna be fine it's just probably gonna be stained so you can use your makeup brushes but yeah look at the back of my hand it's it's gonna be stained and it does not come off and my face is stained as well so I'm looking pretty rosy at the moment um, so now we're moving on to the other eye now this eye was fun because basically you could do this with your eyes shut. You could do this with your opposite hand. Anything goes because I'm just basically replicating exactly what I did on the other eye, but really, really messy. Super messy. Just do it however you want. As long as it looks kind of similar to the other one, 
Oh yeah, I forgot about using that other purple, but it actually doesn't matter because, like I say, you could do this, probably do these colours in any order and it would be fine, but just going to blend and put them together like that. And then I'm putting a little bit of that purple in the inner corner to make your eyes look a little bit more bruised and tired. Building them up, tight lining top and bottom waterline, and then just going to go under the eyes as well, blending out and going in with the same colours that we did before. Now for the eyebrow, because I put it down with the liquid latex, it was pretty difficult to do anything over the top. I went over it with this little brush, but oh, it was so dark, I didn't didn't expect it to be that black but it was so I kind of tried to fix it by blending it out with my regular brow brush you can use glue to set your brows down but the Pritt stick I had was all dried so uh, that's why I used the liquid latex but don't do it it's not worth it so anyway I blended over the brows and then I just put a little bit of gel liner and then did the same with the black that we did on the other eye as well but just a little bit scruffier so that was pretty fun to do that. I did enjoy kind of, well, I find it kind of tough because I'm such a perfectionist that trying not to blend it well was like, oh, okay, just have to stop blending now. But um, with the mascara as well, I wanted it to look like the mascara was everywhere. So again, yeah, it was pretty difficult for me to just put mascara all over my eye, but that's what you gotta do. <laughs> that's what I did. So now I went in with some foundation and because he kind of lost the definition and the like difference between your eye and the cut so I did that and who we're going in with some blue to deepen up that dark circle and yeah just make it look a bit bruised and bruises and dark circles have blue in them so that's what I did now we're gonna cut we're gonna start the cutting get some scissors that are small and they are sharp but do be careful please be careful I did this part on camera and then did the rest of it off camera just for safety reasons so that I could really concentrate the liquid latex you kind of do have to pull up a bit which does hurt but it's only because it's pulling off of your skin to make way for the scissors so you want to cut round uh, basically cut a heart within that heart and yeah it's easier to go up like this than it is to go down and across but do that and then once you have done it you want to do another bad time for Sean Paul to come on it was a really bad time for Sean Paul to come on. Um, terrible timing, Sean Paul. So now you basically want to, like I say, cut around it all again. So there's a little bit more of a gap so that we can add the blood and all that good stuff in there. And then also I'm going to put a little bit of the liquid latex just around any of the older... <laughs> the flaps that have uh, come loose so some bits will have come loose when you're trying to cut around it some bits will come loose because that's just naturally what's happening yeah you're, you're pulling the skin up a little bit so that's all right just glue it back down and now we're going to color in so any of the white bits that have come through you want to color them i'm starting off with the red and i'm building onto the br brown green brown green um the brown good to really start deepening that up it's pretty cool if you can go all the way around in one like this it saves a lot of time but you just want to deepen it up make sure it is nice and red but then if you think of like an actual cut it is gonna have oh it looks really grim it is going to have browns in there and because basically blood when it dries it goes brown so then i'm going for a bit of a brown eyeshadow again and really getting in there i mean look at the i mean i can't even ugh. and then we're going in with the black so we're taking the black gently round we're not really really packing the black in but you want to get it kind of up onto the, the top of the flaps as well oh god sounds so grim but yeah you want to kind of do that to give it a bit of definition and depth and now we're going in with the blood on a tissue a tissue this time i can't believe how like grim this blood looks but anyway get that blood all up in there and this is why my face is stained because this is going straight on my skin so um just beware but really get it in and if there's any more bits where it seems like a really big open like wound and a bit more of like there like a bit more of a gash get that in there because it's gonna look more realistic if you ugh, pack the blood more in the more open cuts and that yeah so now i wanted to try and put a i put basically a big drop of blood on and try to get it to drop but it wouldn't <laughs> Eventually, it, I had to give it a helping hand and help it down itself. But yeah, it looks delicious, doesn't it? 
delicious. And then I took a little bit of brown to kind of go around the outside. And again, I wanted to make it even darker because it still looked kind of like orangey red. Anyway, I didn't like that. I had a little bit of a panic, so I just patted it down and tidied it up. But the beauty of it is, I say this with all of my looks, but anything goes because it's not really, like you're meant to look like you're you know bleeding so that's what it is really oh yeah don't get any on your finger but now we're going back in and after kind of doing a few more touch-ups i'm going back in with the blood and just going around again stippling it on to make sure you've got that nice i don't know bloody effect and then i'm going in with a bit of black just to really kind of bring it all together and gosh i mean i can't get over how Grim it looks but any little bits that are coming through make sure you cover them now because you don't want anything showing to give away the effect so now i'm just building up that bruise a bit more like i say there was unfortunately no point in this bruise because of my wig but i will show you how i did it anyway I'm adding some blue to it because i mean you could just look at one of your bruises on your legs or your arm i've got about 10,000 on my legs so i can just look at those for reference but yeah and then i'm gonna do a little bit of a final contour to try and blend it all in I have got a top on by the way, I'm not naked, but I thought that I would add a couple of battle wounds to the body because I love a bit of body art, we all love a bit of body art, and apparently I do on this channel. So I'm adding a bruise here, I was going to put one on my neck, but I thought that would just look like a love bite. So even though this does probably look a bit love bite-esque. But anyway, building up those colours, and if a bit kind of, I don't know, goes off piece like that, doesn't matter, you blend it round, looks like it's part of it winner and then adding some blues and then i did add a little bit of a green so if you wanted to you could add some green because there's a lot of greens and yellows in bruises and then i did add one kind of around the back of my neck ish which could just look like you've been punched or something i don't know roll with it so now it's for the big moment i put my hair up and now the wig comes on and blossom has blossomed so she won the battle she's come out a little worse for wear but she made it um i hope you guys like this tutorial thank you so much for watching i cannot wait to recreate it again on saturday i will be posting pictures on all my social media if you did like it please let me know in the comments down below like subscribe and all that jazz thank you to cosmo by Haley for the inspiration i will credit everything down in the description have a safe and happy halloween and i will see you in the next one. Bye!